What does it require to build a clean, high quality, professional streaming setup with your Xbox Series console? And can it work with a Mac computer? These are the questions we're gonna be answering in this video, and I think you'll be surprised at the end at how easy it is to set everything up. For the base gaming equipment, we have an Xbox Series S console. We also have a Kuri 27 inch gaming monitor pushing a 1080p 120 hertz refresh rate from the Xbox. And additionally, we have a Razer Kyra wireless gaming headset. With that out the way, the first thing we wanna to add to this setup is our Mac computer. For me, I'm running a 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Ideally, you will wanna be on an Apple Silicon based machine, but Intel works just as well, especially if you're using a quad core machine. Dual cores just don't work as well, if at all, especially if you're trying to pair it with a capture card, which we will wanna use in this case. For this setup, we're gonna be using the EVGA, not EVGA, EVGA XR1 Pro capture card. This is one of the best capture cards you can use on the market for being able to play your Xbox games up to a 4K 60 hertz resolution, 2K at 120 hertz, or even 1080p at 120 hertz. Now to integrate this capture card into your setup, the easiest way is to first unplug the HDMI cable that is currently plugged into the Xbox console. You can then take that HDMI cable and plug that into the HDMI out port. Next, you'll wanna grab the second HDMI HDMI cable that came along with the capture card and plug that into the HDMI in slot and then plug the end of that cable into the Xbox series console. Next up, I would recommend picking up a super speed cable like the one you see here. This one is from Godspin as that will allow me to have a direct connection from the capture card all the way to my Mac computer. In the past, I've stumbled upon random issues due to the fact that there's a dongle or a device in between the capture card and the computer. This just alleviates all of that. Now with this capture card setup with the Xbox passing the audio is such a breeze. It will all go over HDMI automatically without you having to do anything on the computer, even if you're using a wireless headset. If you wanna have your party chat audio come through over HDMI as well, then you just need to go into your settings, go to volume and audio output, then to additional options, and make sure party chat audio is set to headset and speakers. With that set, you'll be able to join any Xbox party chat, all while being able to be heard using the microphone on the headset, but in order to have commentary over our recordings and live streams, we're gonna need a standalone microphone such as the one you see here from Avermedia. This AM350 mic has been configured with a pop filter, a boom arm stand, and even a shock mount to go along with it. Now, since my Mac doesn't have USB-A ports, I leveraged the Moken USB-C dongle adapter for plugging in any devices that require USB-A connectivity. In addition to the microphone, it's good to put a face to the voice. So here I have the Oppo C1 4K60 webcam. That's correct, 4K60. There's not many webcams out there that can do that. This one can. It comes with its own special USB-C cable. It also has an attachable mount on the bottom so that it can be stabilized on your computer screen or monitor. And on the front of the webcam is this little magnetic lens cover, which is great for protecting the lens. Lighting is another major component of a stream setup. So here we have the Elgato key light, which is honestly one of the best devices out there for keeping your face nice and bright all through the night. You have full control control over the temperature and brightness of the light, especially when you utilize Elgato's control application. But you can also control this light and many other things using Elgato's Stream Deck. This even goes as far as having further control in the streaming platforms that you're using, such as Twitch and YouTube. But another device you can get quite a bit of control over your stream with, and it uses the foot. Well, that would be the iKegel USB foot pedal. This is one of those items people typically wouldn't expect you to have in your setup but it can have a lot of uses, and I'll show you guys how it can work in just a moment. Now, no setup is complete without a proper gaming chair. In this massive, well-put-together package is the Ewin Champion Series Ergonomic Gaming Chair. Checking out the components within this box, you get your back seat, foam pillow cushions, metal wheel base, seat base, as well as all of the setup tools needed to put the chair together. I actually managed to finish building it all by myself in under an hour. The head pillow to this chair I found to be really cool as it is partially magnetic, meaning you can just throw it to the back headrest and it will just stick there without the need of a strap. Something else that impressed me with this gaming chair compared to others is that the side covers attach with magnetics instead of screws, meaning this is perfect if you need to get to the 
the screws in order to tighten the chair back up. The backrest is fully adjustable from being upright into a gaming position all the way down to a napping position if you're someone that likes to nap in a gaming chair. It comes with a tilt lock mechanism, the armrests on this chair are fully customizable, and there's also knobs on the left and right side to adjust your lumbar support positions. But I gotta say, for a 6'1 semi-thicky man here, this chair fits me very comfortably, making it a great addition to this gaming streaming setup. Now that we've made it through the first part of setting up our gaming and streaming equipment with our Mac computer, the next step is making it all work and putting it together using free streaming software such as OBS Studio. This is a fantastic piece of software that has full silicon support for your M1, M2 chip based Macs. Here I have OBS Studio open and I've gone ahead and created two scenes, one for my full face cam and then another for the gameplay. Let's start with the gameplay scene and within the sources section, I'm gonna go ahead and select the plus button and then go ahead to video capture device. I'm just gonna name this EVGA capture card, select OK, and then I'm just going to choose the device drop down and then select the capture card that's connected to my Mac computer. When I do that, the gameplay will appear and then just go ahead and select OK. Next up, I'm going to add my face cam. Now, instead of adding the Oppo C1 webcam as a video capture device source in OBS right away, we can enhance the quality of this webcam by using the Oppo Composer app, which is the webcam's custom made software. Currently, it is only supported on Mac OS at this time, but Windows is set to come in 2024. My favorite thing to set within this app is the bokeh. I'm gonna set mine to f2.5. There's no other image settings that I wanna play around with in this software, so I'm gonna head over back to OBS. I'm gonna click on my Opal C1 source again. We're gonna select the device dropdown, and here we have our Opal Composer. So this is gonna bring in that video source from that application and pull it into OBS. As you can see, it's in here, preset, we're good at high, select OK, and look at that. We have our nice bokeh blurry background. It's even doing a good job blurring out the microphone. I am pretty impressed with this, to be honest. We gotta shrink this webcam down, and then I'm gonna select the option key, and then bring in the other sides of this webcam. Also, if you want, you can add your own custom overlay, such as a face cam border, to give your setup some more originality. We can set our full face cam by just adding the video capture device. We're gonna add an existing source, check the Opel C1, select OK, and there we are. Now we need to start adding some audio sources to our OBS project here. So we can do that just by going over to our sources, selecting the plus button, and then we can select the audio input capture source, EVGA audio, select OK, and then we're gonna select the device drop down, and then we're gonna select our capture card right here. After doing that, we can just select OK again, and you can see that we have an audio source for it. I'm gonna load up some Mortal Kombat, and you're gonna see that our audio is coming through, even when we have our headset activated. And you can see that the audio is still coming through from the Xbox. Now, it's not taking this microphone, because this microphone would be for chat, through the Xbox. So that's why we have this second microphone here from Aver Media, which you've been listening to since I've been sitting at this specific spot. Now, this is not just your typical standalone microphone. It comes with its own software, which is free to download as a part of owning this microphone, and it's called Vibe Engine. Within this software, you can easily control how loud your microphone is. You can set several different microphone effects. My favorite being the scenario, which I currently have set to podcast. And then I also like having the clipping shield enabled as that will alleviate this microphone from peaking anything that would just hurt the viewer's ears. I highly appreciate the fact that they have a voice test option. Here I can just record a sample of my voice. It'll give me at least 30 seconds worth of time that I can just talk into the microphone. And then when I stop it, I can actually play that audio back so that I can hear myself while making changes to how my voice sounds using all of the features within this app application that will then be applied to how your microphone will sound in any other application such as OBS Studio. Now we can go to our settings, then to the audio tab, and then for one of your mic auxiliary devices, this is where you're going to want to select that microphone. So I'm going to select the mic 350, in this case, select OK, and now you can see my microphone right there 
in this scene and then if I switch over to my gameplay scene it's also in this scene as well now the software for the stream deck is just so incredibly powerful I could have a separate two-hour video just talking about all the incredible things you can do with the stream deck app for the sake of this video we're gonna keep it simple by just leveraging the features that OBS studio offers within this app such as switching between scenes enabling disabling sources starting your stream starting a recording taking a screenshot like is there even any value in using keybinds anymore actually there might be the iKaggle foot pedal requires the PC sensor app in order to work and it does require you to pair a keybind with it I've set mine to command period select save back in OBS we're gonna go to our settings then to the hotkeys tab and I want to set a keybind for just muting everything on the stream so that means the capture card that means my microphone as well here's the two audio sources i was looking for and i'm just gonna click into the empty area here and i'm gonna select the foot pedal to set the mute function for my microphone and i'm gonna do the same for the evga capture card as well i'm also gonna want to make sure i set the same keybind for unmuting as well so after that's all set, I know there's conflicts, but I want the audio to be muting and unmuting at the same time. Now when I press the foot pedal, both of the audio sources will be muted. Press it again, they will unmute. Your microphone audio should stretch into the upper yellow area, and then your capture card audio should go into the upper green area for those loudest moments in your game. All right, time for a recording test. Oh, we're here to battle, my friend. All right. I'm but button mash warrior, right? Oh god, I'm getting whooped on here. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. We're gonna have to fight a little bit here. Oh Okay, we get we're getting some moves here now. Look at these. Oh man. CPU is jacking me up, boys. This is embarrassing. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, dog. Go on, bro. We getting cooked. There we go. I like that powerful move there. That's a good move. Come on, we're so close, we're so close. We're so close, just whip them. Yes! We won! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh. Hey, you win some, you lose some, but we won this one, baby. All of the products showcased in this video will be linked in the description below. If you guys would like me to do a budget version of one of these setup videos, let me know by leaving a like and comment on the video. And with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.